Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode, today we're gonna do our usual Bitcoin TA and also gonna compare the DXY of course. And when we reach the daily time frame, we're also gonna have a look on the CME chart because I have a very interesting thing to show you over there. And before we start, don't forget moon up the likes here and also don't forget to subscribe to our $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway. We do this giveaway weekly, so make sure to subscribe to that video is popping up at the end of this video, the subscription video. So definitely make sure to leave the comment over there and your Bitcoin address. All right, so we can start now with the one hour time frame because Bitcoin is still pushing here to the upside. We are also testing here this $11,000 pretty soon. At the moment, I'm still in a short position because I still got sell signals in the one hour and four hour time frame. And that's why I'm still keeping up with my short. Also because we are reaching very close my target of $11,200. This is where I think we could be topping out here and see a possible correction to the downside, potentially to test my target here of the 200 daily moving average and also bounce from it and at the same time close the CME gap. But for now we're seeing here Bitcoin still pushing to the upside. And as you may notice by now, the most of the altcoins are still bleeding. So only Bitcoin currently is pushing higher here. And meanwhile, the Bitcoin price is going higher and the altcoins are bleeding. Of course, the Bitcoin dominance is still rising. So this is always a bad thing for the altcoins and of course a good thing for Bitcoin because all the take profits and all the altcoins money is floating back into the big boy into Bitcoin and that's why guys I always telling you if you want to take profits out of altcoins or if you want to go the safe way then just keep your money always into Bitcoin or at least take some profits into Bitcoin when you realize them with altcoin trading. That's why very important always to take a bit of profits out at least the first initial investment back into Bitcoin once you're trading altcoins because holding altcoins for the long term is never too good. And we can start here in the one hour time frame with the Bitcoin price because as you can see currently we're still trading above the 20 moving average which is a good thing and as long as we are closing candles here above this 20 moving average so above 10,800 we should see continuation to the upside in case of a major dump here if we're gonna lose here the 20 moving average and watch out here for the 200 down here $10,400 this is also where I'm gonna put the stop loss here in my own short position that I opened currently I'm gonna stack in more shorts if the price is going higher only if we're really able to take out all the $12,500 high then I think to consider to close my short position in a loss but as long as we are not taking out the $12,500 I still think that $11,200 most likely is gonna be the top here and if we have a look into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we are overshooting it to the upside so also here a possible retracement back down towards the middle line to the bottom here so between 10,800 and 10,700 is very likely to come in the next couple of hours if we're cooling off here a bit because stochastic is coming into overbought condition and uh, KST is still shifted to the downside. MACD is flat here. We're gonna have to see what will happen in the next couple of hours. But here the one hour in theory is still looking good even though there is still a high chance that we could see a possible test of one of these moving averages. So between 10,500 to 10,800 dollar. But overall I'm expecting the next couple of hours to head higher and if we have a look here into the DXY here you can see that the DXY is still very weak it's just trading here sideways even though we have here a little bit of pump and dump but overall we are still trading sideways here in this $93 level and so far we didn't see a, a real big breakout if here we're gonna lose the 90 to $80 that I'm expecting a possible dump towards here the 92 potentially even down to $91 which would lead into a big pump in the Bitcoin price but if the DXY is starting to pump here higher towards the resistance here of 93.50 we could see a possible correction in the Bitcoin price and now let's go back to the Bitstamp chart and open up the four hour time frame 
because here you can also see that we didn't reach yet the 200 moving average up here at $11,200. This is still my target to be reached before maybe we're gonna top out. So there is still a high chance that maybe we could go up to this level before we're gonna see a possible correction to the downside and go towards our 200 daily moving average, which is at $9,200. This is my target also to scale in some big long positions. And here my own indicator, as you can see, gave here a sell signal at $10,700. This is where I started to scale in shorts. And the next one I'm gonna scale in up here at $11,200. We are trading now above the 20 moving average, which is a very bullish sign. But as you can see here, the problem is here the 200 moving average. So as long as we're trading below the 200 moving average in the four hour, I still think there's a high chance that we will get rejected here. And also here in the past, you can see that this acted as a support, which now could be also a new resistance up here at around $11,000. RSI is also very overbought here. So also because of that, I'm expecting a possible at least pullback to the downside. And if we open up the Bollinger Band here, also you can see that we are still trading on the upper side, which is bullish. So in theory, we could go easily towards 11,000 right now. But in case that we are getting rejected here or at 11,000, then watch out for the two moving averages here 10,800 to 10,600 dollar and if this 10,600 to 10,500 dollar support will lose then we're gonna fall straight down towards again ten thousand dollar and in my opinion then we will most likely also break 10k and go lower so Overall, in the short to midterm, I still think we have some room left to the upside. But if we go now into the higher time frames, there are signs that we could see a potential correction towards my bearish targets before we're going higher than 11 and 12K again. And uh, you also see that the KSD and MACD are shifted to the upside. So we should expect a continuation to the upside. Stochastic is still over but this is also what makes me a bit concerning here because RSI and Stochastic are overbought, but MACD and KSD are looking like they still have some room left to the upside. So even though we could still push towards $11,200, be careful if you open up now new long positions. And now let's go over to the DXY in the four hour because here we have also had a buy signal and that's why also I opened up my short in the Bitcoin price. We also have seen a big push here in the DXY, but currently we are also again dumping and get rejected from all these moving averages which are coming up together here at $93. So if the DXY is gonna break $93, I think we're gonna have a big push to the upside and that could lead into a bigger correction in the stock market and also of course in the Bitcoin price. But if here we're getting rejected from the $93 level and we're gonna fall down towards the $91 then be prepared for a massive spike to the upside in the Bitcoin price. Also we are trading below the 50 level in the RSI which is quite bearish and overall of course we are still very bearish for the long term on the DXY but since we're trading here sideways I think we should expect here some more pumps and dumps here before we're starting to crash again like we did here after March of this year. So if you're ready for all scenarios you should be fine but be prepared for massive volatility if the DXY is starting to move here. Currently we're still trading sideways here as soon as here we're gonna have big moves to the upside or downside and be prepared that we're gonna see also big moves in the Bitcoin price. And now let's open up the daily time frame because here in the spot market it looks bullish. We are now trading above the 50 in the RSI and also yesterday we had a successful close above the 20 daily moving average. So above 10,730 and as long as we are trading above the 20 we should be good to go to the upside and in that case watch out here for this $11,200 where also the 50 daily moving average is lining up. I also got here a buy signal once we bottomed out here in this 10k area so in theory we should be shifting out to the upside but the problem is this $11,200. This is where our Fibonacci retracement is lining up based on the top that we had and the bottom currently and also where the 50 daily moving average is lining up right now. And the interesting thing is if we go over into the CME chart you can see that currently on this chart since here we don't have weakened data we are getting rejected here perfectly at the 20 daily moving average which here is at 10,970 and so far we didn't have even a week above this 20 daily moving average. And yesterday we even had a close 
below the 50 daily as well. So here the CME chart in my opinion is still looking bearish. The spot chart is looking good so it should indicate that we're gonna see a big move to the upside now but based here on the CME chart it looks a bit more bearish and as long as here we are not closing a daily candle above 10,975 I think there is still a very high chance that we could get rejected here and see a massive big dump towards the 200 daily moving average down here at $9,000 on the CME chart. And that's why I'm still not pretty convinced that this move here to the upside is sustainable and will take us to new all-time highs. And that's why I'm still keeping up my short position even though I'm still underwater right now and we got buy signals in the daily time frame, but I'm still not very convinced that this move is gonna be sustainable over here. And don't forget that we still have our CME gap down here at $9,600 here on the CME chart. And I still think that this gap will get filled sooner or later, hopefully now, so we definitely can bottom out here at the 200 daily moving average, close the CME gap, and then move on for a big massive move to the upside, because for the long term, we are still very bullish on the Bitcoin price. But as I told you, here on the CME chart, it looks like that here we could get rejected. And now let's open up the Bollinger Band in the daily because here the good thing is that we're trading now above the middle line. So we are trading now in theory in the upper area. So we could see a big move towards 12K based here on the Bollinger Band in the daily. But if today we are not gonna close again above $10,800, I think it is very likely that we will go again lower here. So first we're gonna possibly test here the $10,500 level and then continue to crash towards $9,550 because currently that is the bottom here of the Bollinger Band. So it's not out of the cards that we could go towards these levels pretty soon. The good thing here is that we had the bullish cross in the KSD and MACD so they are showing some very bullish momentum and this could be just the beginning of a massive move to the upside. Stochastic is coming up here into overbought condition but also still have some room left to the upside. So as I told you guys we still could see a big massive move to the upside before maybe we're gonna have a dump but if we have a big move towards 11k and maybe even 12k and create a support above then I think we can forget to see sub 10k levels in the pretty close future and maybe we're gonna see that way way later but for now then we will see continuation to the upside so we all gonna have to wait where we're gonna close today's candle and also of course this week where we're gonna close this weekly candle because it's also gonna be very important currently we're still trading here between the two moving averages in the Bollinger Band and uh, there is also a high chance that we will get rejected here at eleven thousand dollar and in that case watch out again here for the support at 10k and if this is not holding we're gonna start to trade again in the bearish side so this week is gonna be very interesting where we're gonna close the daily candles and of course also this week's candle be prepared for all scenarios guys and you should be doing fine and of course if you want to trade bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage use the links that you find down below here in the video description with my links to those exchanges you can get up to 538 dollars in bonus and also if you are interested in joining our free discord trading chat you find the invitation link also down below here so thank you very much for watching my friends don't forget to moon up the likes leave me any kind of comment you want subscribe to the channel and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.